Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to do and perform data guard switch over for my databases. I have a primary database and I have a standby database here. In this video, I'm going to perform this using data guard broker command line interface, DGMGRL. Let's start with the primary. In simple step, with no advanced scenario, I have to connect to my DGMGRL interface and connect to this assist dg which is called sys dg write the password this will be same as sys password then let me clear this show configuration show configuration will show you the whole status about your databases here this is with the white background this is my primary database and here this is my standby database with the black background here I'm connecting to primary database ORCL and I'm going to switch over the role. So ORCL standby will be my primary database and here will be my standby that phys physical standby database. So it's advisable and recommended that I'm I have to check and validate everything prior to do and perform the switch over. So I show first the configuration, the whole configuration health setup of my configurations and the log shipped between uh, primary and standby yes it's if there is any error or even if there is no error it's uh, advisable and recommended to show both databases in details as well so we can check or show the database and mentioning the name of database and see this will give me the status of this and let me check the second database show database and this is the, the the one that I'm going to switch ORCL standby this will show me the status on both our success so there is nothing and transport is apply here and apply uh, here transport is shipped with on and apply is on and the status is success in both databases. In case there is any details need to be checked, there is or an error or something, you may use this one show database verbus or show database. I'm not sure this would be before or after. Let me check. Yeah, it's show database verbus, then the name of database. It's my bad. Yep. What's happening on our database? I show that it's a spelling mistake, writing mistake variables. This is the one here. This will show all details about my database, all parameters set. So in case there's one parameter or something that's not configured properly, you may refer to this purpose to show all configuration written in the data gap broker configuration file. This will show you the alerts that you may check. It's advisable, especially if this is first time or you discover any issue previously that you have a, a live uh, monitoring to your in another screen to monitor your alert in both alert for the RDPMS and for the standby broker uh, to, see, to see step by step where is it stuck or where is it failed. In case here I will not be able to show you everything in this monitoring however I'm just showing the right what's it, the best practice of a switch over. So let me just revert back what's the next comment that we have to run. Uh, uh, sorry here is it. Uh, let me just reconnect DGMGRL. Let me clear this before. So DGMGRL connect says DG says password host clear is the command is validate validate database and you have to mention your primary first for example ready for switch over yes managed by cluster with this is in case it's a rack it's not managed they are uh, just give me a warning to ensure that the statistic connect identifier is configured properly yeah i already tested this prior to do this so um no in case 
this warning come it's not necessary that you have to change this they just highlighted this warning to you to ensure this static connect identifier this is a parameter in the database it will be have a pole connection just ensure that this is ready to have the switch over let me check the standby one this will be more because the standby one will be the new primary so a lot of check will be checked there so we we need to validate that one as well so validate database database rcl standby this is the name of my standby database that i'm going to let it the primary this is will validate it let's see what the result of this validation all right here is it everything is validated flashback off off here ready for switch over and ready for fail over as well that's fine it's ready so nothing showing any error now i can pair for the switch over uh sorry host host name no, it's not host host clear so let me just connect here and show you that select uh, database role from the database this is now this is my physical standby after i do the switch over the role here will be changed even this connection actually we will lose it because the restart will occur let's see whether we lose it or not so how to perform now is using a simple word because data guard broker command line interface we come to make our life easy so no need to stop services alter database connection stop and start it again a port shut down a port all this step will be performed using the dgmg rl and behind and if you open the alert log later on you will see all these comments being performed by dgmg rl so it's make our life easy let's do the switch over switch over to the target target is orcl standby we want to switch over to this database so let me try this and see what will happen if you open a log you will see all details oh and there is a connection let me connect again connect success and reperform it uh, so it's my bad that's the previous login was not work with the, my connection so it doesn't perform anything and if i check here still this is a standby so let me rerun now after entering a clear, a clear and direct password and see how it's well yes now it's connected perfectly perform will be performed it's a matter of seconds only that depends on the network status and if there is a lag to be applied or started however more mainly this will not take a long time while right, this is performed let me run here Ah, now this become as a primary and still my session is connected normally so this is now become as a primary and you can see after switch over this it's starting up now the current one the orcl the previous primary one so database mounted let's see connected so here it will be now our new standby so primary become a, a standby and the standby become as a primary you can see here oh, perfect so if we clear this switch over successfully a new primary is this one so if we just show the configuration configuration again don't worry if you see this apply lag because you just switch over give this just some time and this will be sync again however at least right now we can see this uh, let's just connect to this database and see the new role is it really as shown in the dgmg rl dg uh, so let's connect to this this dpa select database role from the database yes it's a physical standby so let me exit from this let me reconnect to this agmg 
show configuration. Oh, sorry, it's my bad. Show configuration. Yes, you can see just for the next seconds, every apply lag like has been resolved automatically. And you can see that database role has been changed. Primary become as standby, and standby become as a primary. Now your application should connect to this and you can perform all the transaction here and it will be shipped to the previous one. Same thing can be performed to revert back primary as a primary and standby as standby. Hope you see how it's become very easy to do and perform the switch over using DGMG RL and see you in another one.